Right, hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to use the Motion Joy Gamepad tool with emulators such as uh, JNES, like Sega emulators and things like that. Right now all I have is the NES emulator and the MSX and the PlayStation 1 and the Super Nintendo. I'm only going to go over the two Nintendo ones really quick just to show you that this process is really easy. Okay, so we're on the Nintendo Entertainment System one and we have the Motion Joy gamepad tool open. Now in most cases you don't even need this. You don't even need to open this. You just plug in your controller and the emulator will pick it up immediately. But um, in case it doesn't do that, you can open your Motion Joy gamepad tool, plug in your controller, your PS3 controller. I'm using a USB to do this. And in most cases you don't need to do any once the Motion Joy gamepad tool picks it up, that's it, you're done with this. So you can just minus that. You go to your JNES and what's going to happen here is uh, this is just one example. You go to your options and you go to your input uh, settings. And most of the time it'll start as none, or it'll, if you don't have Motion Joy, it'll probably show up as Joypad or Joy Controller or something like that. But if you have Motion Joy on, this will come up Motion Joy Virtual Game Controller. Now, this software recognizes this immediately. So that's why the name's listed. And then on your connection, you want to hit Joypad. And then down here, you can set it up. Um, so with my left, I'm going to change it to something else because this is already set up. That that was uh, to the right. So if you can see the, I'm changing it with the D-pad right now. So to the left and start button. I'm going to do select. See how I'm I'm changing it. So and um, that that is pretty much all you need to do. And uh, when you get the controller working, you just start and run your game. So another emulator. Let's go ahead and go to the Super Nintendo one. Let's, uh, is that the application? Oh, yes, it is. Excuse me if it's on full screen. I did not uh, mean to do that. So let's see if I can have it windowed. Well, I hope you guys can see this. But uh, anyway, I'm going to the configure, go to the input. And then on here it'll say devices number one, two, three, four, five, blah, 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 blah. I do go. I just go to number one and hit keyboard slash gamepad, and then I go to the keys, enter the key, and I press up. Now it's listed as uh, J03, and then down. So that's that's all it is to it. There's nothing to it. It's very simple. These emulators pick up the controller fast, even without the Motion Joy uh, DS3 tool on. It'll just assume that the controller is a joypad. It's very easy. Um, I'll do one more with the PlayStation 1 emulator. You just uh, open up the PlayStation 1 emulator, go to configure, go to gamepad, port 1, pad 1, and... Now, you can sometimes mess with this where you get the analogs to work. Sometimes it doesn't work uh, for some reason, sometimes all the time, but I just picked DualShock F5. As you can see, I have configured this before, so I just want to change the button real quick. And there you go, I just changed the button. So, you see how the buttons are changing, and so, yeah. So, that's, that's pretty much there is all to it. It's very, very simple. And you don't need to do anything uh, uh, complicated, but the only thing you have to do is just plug the controller in, make sure it's plugged in. Um, you Sometimes you don't need Motion Joy at all. So uh, other than that, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and that this video helped anybody who wanted to know how to use them on emulators. Again, this is for a wide range of emulators, not just the three I showed you. It could be for Sega. Uh, uh, all the Segas, uh, Xbox emulators, all of that, any any emulation software. All right, thank you guys for watching. If you like this, please uh, like this video if you did. If you want to see more, uh, you could subscribe. That would be awesome if you did. And, um, yeah, just comment below if you have uh, any more questions or any more video requests. All right, thank you.